How's it going? I know it's been a minute. A couple weeks. We're near the end of the year again. And by the title, I bet you're wondering, what do I mean? The confession I have to make is something that I've probably been ignoring, maybe. I'm not entirely sure, but the confession I have to make is, you know, I'm not really doing all that okay. Let me take these off because I'm sick of looking at that glare in OBS and I don't need my glasses to talk to y'all. I don't need to see. I just need to be able to speak to y'all to actually speak what is on my mind, how I've felt. That's something that has probably been one of the hardest things for me to do. Because if it involves somebody else, usually people don't like hearing that they're not treating you the way that they think. I have since discovered over these past couple weeks to a month that I have been holding myself back all these years by keeping all of it in, trying to turn on this camera and just power through it, which is literally what I did for the bulk of my YouTube career. And it's starting to take its toll. It's starting to show. Now, you could all say, hey, I had seven months, but that's different. I had a hiatus because I didn't have a choice. I didn't start taking breaks until 2018. And generally, I try, <clears throat> excuse me, I try to take a break every end of the year. Like I usually try to take December itself off. But you know, I had the backlog. I still have to play Hollow Knight. And it upset me knowing that time is ticking. I only have like one day, if not maybe a day and a half to get recording done, but I'm also a full-time parent and I've got one on the way. Trust and believe I'm not going nowhere. There is a reason why after all the turmoil we've been a part of that we have endured on this channel, like I said, seven month hiatus and yet here we are new setup, everything, but it's me that has to improve. If I can't improve, if I can't look within myself at my own faults, at my own truths, at the reality of things, then how can I hope to keep bringing entertainment to y'all? What y'all don't see is the struggles that I have in real life. My emotions can just happen and I can just break out in tears whenever I sleep, yet I still feel tired all the time, but I still go to work. I still do what I have to do as a man, as a father, all that. And I think I might have neglected myself. I'm not the best at taking care of myself. I'll tell you that flat out because that's what happens when you live a life for other people that's what happens when you live for others and don't consider yourself don't consider your own feelings that's what happens when your feelings are not considered and yet they are pretended to be considered i say that i'm okay and i know i'm not but everybody does that it's just me i have to break the nasty negative habits that i have instilled on myself i have to acknowledge that i'm not okay like i would wish i was but i am okay in the sense of I am better. I have thought about more, considered more. My mind is not as cloudy, but the doubts are still there. 
but one thing at a time. I'm free in my mind to consider myself. And that's leagues better than where I used to be because I used to not consider myself at all. I would always just live for others. That's not healthy. And I'm 31 years old and I'm just now realizing that I really did not have a successful life because I never looked at my life enough. I wasn't in the position to look at my life enough because everything started when I was a kid. There were so many people who tried their hand in guiding my life in a direction that was never for me. And they started when I was a kid. I had no game plan, nothing, nothing in my mind when I turned on this camera. I should be recording Hollow Knight right now. I can't bring this state of me to y'all. I don't want to. I miss the hell out of that game. About month four of my hiatus, that song just started playing in my head to the point where it brought me to tears. Because by month five, I thought I was never coming back. And I swear, I've said this in a previous video before, but that's what you get when you click on a video like this. You just get the realness. The stumbling over the words, that's me. Not knowing what to say, that's me. Trying to express how I feel about myself has always been so hard. My consistency Trying to keep up with it for the last six months has been so hard. But I really appreciate every single one of the people who have stuck around. I appreciate all of you who still take the time out of your day to show the channel some love, even though it's not as consistent as I would hope or anybody might be hoping to be honest. I don't know the opinions of a lot of you. I just know that y'all care. And that is the biggest blessing that I could ask for right now because I lived for 10 years wondering who truly did because I've been betrayed by so many who claimed they did. You could also consider this video as a public service announcement because I wouldn't want this on my worst enemy. If you have doubts about the people in your life, really ask yourself why those doubts are there. It doesn't matter who it is. If you explore the idea, you might be surprised. But don't lie to yourself. Don't cheat yourself. Do not neglect your own emotions. Because if we're in a world where we only have one life, I literally spent the majority of mine not even living for me. That's how I feel. And I'm not going to deny my feelings anymore. But at the end of the day, we can't just sit here and act like we haven't accomplished anything. Multiple games that I had to play to catch up from last year. At the end of the day, I got all but one done. So I got to pat myself on the back for that because I did all of that while all these IRL struggles happened and they still continue to. But I think, I think that I shouldn't push myself any more than I already have. I think I'm going to take the remainder of the year to heal, to think, to clear my thoughts. Hollow Knight will be finished. I may record and upload it later. I don't know what I want to do yet, but I know I want to take my time. And I greatly appreciate all of you who respect that. I'm still wanting to be here for y'all too. 
not just as an entertainer, but as an ear, as a voice, because there are things that I've been through in this life of mine that I wish on nobody. And if I can help someone look within themselves first, look within themselves more than they already do for the sake of their happiness, then I'll do it because I know what it's like to not do that. And it sucks when you can look in the past and say, I really was weak, wasn't I? Gullible. An idiot. I've cursed at myself more than I ever. Hell, it's not even hot in here. But it's the nerves in my stomach that are causing this sweat. Just pointing it out there so nobody wonders why I'm not wiping my face because I'm being real right now. I want you to see it. This is what it looks like when you don't take care of yourself. I mean, I know I'm adorable, but still, I'm not as happy as I wish I was. And I have a family. I have a roof over my head. I got a job, but that doesn't always make a happy life. You have to be happy in here or none of it matters. And I don't know when the last time I was happy in here I don't. That's what I wouldn't want on my worst enemy. Not knowing who you are. And just being told this showed that things not adding up here or there. It's a terrible feeling, but it is reality. And some of us out here go through it. But I am healing. I'm making it. One step at a time, one day at a time, one issue at a time, one doubt at a time. I'm going through the healing. And that is what makes all of this worth it because I already know what it's like to struggle. Eventually, I'm going to know what it's like to be successful. And man, I can't wait. Because struggling your entire life takes a toll on you when you reach adulthood. Because all you know is responsibility. Some people can have fun and others can't. Some people have to keep going no matter how bad it hurts because no one else can help you. And if it was not for the people around me, if it was not for you guys, I don't know where I would be right now. I'm being 100% honest with you. I don't, but I came to that reality and it made me not want to find out. So by the grace of God, here I stand. Still ready to do exactly what I always do and that's put on a show, put on some laughs and create some mayhem. Music, I still been grinding. I got five tracks, two of them I'm finishing up on and one of them is halfway done and I'm still creating more so I may not be uploading anything but trust and believe the grind is there the effort is there I want nothing more than to just break through a wall and just never stop the consistency the, the I don't want any of it to stop because I've got so much drive, I need just a moment to recenter myself and actually, seriously do it. 
because in the past I've took breaks, but I wasn't in the state of mind that I'm in now. Apparently, you do have to be completely broken down in order to be built back up. And trust me, I'm getting broken down a lot. All that means is that all of my cracks are going to be filled with gold. And I will still shine as broken as I am. I had, like I said, I had no real intention behind this video. I don't even know how long I've been talking. I can't see anything. However, it feels good to have said it. It feels good to have actually gotten it off of my chest. And it's still gonna take some time because there are so many words that I just did not get to say. But I'm glad you listened for as long as you did. And I don't mean to cry in front of you all and all of that, but your feelings matter. Your heart matters. Your mind, your body, your wants matter. Don't let anyone, anyone, try to tell you otherwise. I did, and I regret it. So if I can help a person keep the realism on themselves long enough to not end up a mess like me, then I will tell my story to the whole world and hope it inspires somebody. That's all I want to do. Tell my story and have it make a difference. I've been telling my story for four years now. I can keep talking. I can keep grinding. I can keep causing mayhem. Because it's what I do best. And it puts a smile on your face. If you find yourself in the same position as me, then this video is for you. And I beg you to save yourself while you can. You don't have to abandon people, but don't give time to the people who would quickly abandon you. Don't ignore the signs. Don't ignore your feelings. As I said, I did. And I regret it. I hope these words have touched you in a way. If I upload, cool. If I don't, just keep me in your thoughts, your prayers, and know that I am stronger than this. And I will get through it. I love all of y'all. And I appreciate all of you. Peace out.